Hi, Chris Wallace from Second Swing. We're in Carlsbad, California today at Cobra headquarters. I'm with Jose Miraflor. Jose, how are you today? Great. How are you, Chris? Good. Good to see you. It's good to have you here. Thanks for having us out. We're talking about brand new FA product, exciting new stuff from you guys. Ricky Fowler just won the Hero World Challenge, shot 61 on Sunday with F8 Plus Driver, F8 Plus Fairways. Uh, we've got new drivers, fairways, hybrids, irons. We're going to talk specifically right now about the drivers, and there's a lot of exciting technology going on with these clubs. Tell us a little bit about this new product. You know, every year when somebody goes out to want to purchase a brand new driver, they're thinking, I want to hit it longer. So distance, they want it forgiveness, those are the two things that people are out looking for. They want to hit it straighter, much longer, right? One of the things that we've talked about for the last couple years, it took us two and a half years to develop, is a brand new technology that's not only going to make the driver faster and more forgiving, but also make it more accurate. And what I'm talking about is this new F8 driver features a brand new technology called CNC milling. It's a brand new space for us because what we've looked at is when you start with the face and weld it on to a driver head, there's this giant weld. And the only way you can get that off is to actually start milling, this, the, milling the, the weld marks off of there and it's an imperfect thing. There are some great skilled craftsmen out there that can really do a good job and almost perfect, but what we decided to do is create it so that right out of the welding uh, phase, you put it into a fixture and we CNC mill the face and it's perfect. Not only is it perfect in loft, it's perfect in bulge, it's perfect in roll, so that we can control not only the, the thickness of it to make it super fast and super light, but also make it perfectly curved. So when you do miss it off center, guess what? It's very accurate. Yeah, and you mentioned that one of the key really features in terms, in addition to the consistency, is being able to make this face thinner, which is creating more ball speed for players. Absolutely, I think we're pretty, we all pretty much know in the center of the face we're governed, right? It's, it's, there's a CT limit and COR limit, but you can get there more often and more consistently by doing this milling process. Also, on the outside, the perimeter of the center, those parts are typically not that fast. We can make those thinner and more precise. Now, um, one thing that you guys have really done well the last few years is being able to manipulate center of gravity to give players like an incredible combination of MOI, but also low spin rates, which are helping players get distance. And I know the, the carbon crown you've utilized here is helping you do that again. Yeah, absolutely. We've been using carbon in our drivers uh, for a almost 10 years now, but we've always masked it a little bit. This time we're really showing it off, and you can see a very visible carbon signature here, which we think is in style today. So we're going ahead and showing that off. We save the weight by using carbon fiber instead of titanium. It saves us enough weight to make the CG lower or back or lower and forward for better player drivers. We decide where you want to put it. It also frees up weight to be able to use movable weights mm -hmm. on the bottom. So you can see on, on both these, uh, these FA drivers, we have a heel position position and a, and a back position and a heel position respectively so that if you put the weight in the back it flies higher and if you put the weight in the heel it adds a draw bias to your shot so you can have up to 12 yards of draw bias by just moving that weight towards the heel. And in the F8 Plus there's a front position that allows players to help bring trajectory and spin down, correct? Absolutely. For guys like Ricky Fowler, as he likes weight forward. He likes control of his, not only his trajectory, but workability. So in the FA Plus, you can decide, it, hit it higher, more forgiving the back or front, and have it more neutral, more uh, control of trajectory. The other thing Cobra players are going to notice that's new here uh, is some measures that have been taken to improve aerodynamics with what you're calling, I think, trips on the crown and on the sole. Tell us about those and how they work. Yeah, the technology is 360 Arrow. We have one of our guys downstairs in the innovation group who, who worked for Boeing. He designed rockets, right? So he understands aerodynamics and he's been working on it for a couple years as well. And what he taught us is to streamline the entire perimeter of the face. So when you look at the face of this driver, it's very softened in all its perimeter, not just the crown, not just the sole, but the heel area as well. And that's the first step in creating better aerodynamics. The next thing you'll want to do is create aerodynamic trips um, or vortex generators if you want. So what you, what, you, what you have here on the top 
are actually polymer trips, lightweight. It's a tenth of the weight of titanium, which allows us to save this weight. As we said, we use a carbon crown to save weight high. It didn't make any sense to us to use titanium to make these trips. So it took us a while to develop it, but we created polymer trips, super lightweight, but help to create better aerodynamic efficiency as well in addition to the, to the streamlined crown. And we didn't stop there. We know that those top trips are very helpful maybe at the bottom of your swing. But as you come down from the top of your swing, there's already uh, all types of drag that are working against you. So we worked on trips on the bottom of the, of the, of the head as well. And these are titanium, because if you do make contact with the ground, you don't want to destroy your trips. <laughs> so we, these are made out of titanium. You see the six on there on the bottom of yours. But they're all facing in different directions. So as you come down during your downswing, whether the face is open as it should be, or maybe you're not a, such a good player and it's a little bit closed, these aerodynamic trips are working in different face angles and in different positions of your downswing to help make it easier to generate speed. And with F6, uh, especially a little bit with F7, there's a lot of color. This year you've gone to sort of a really sort of darker, faster, meaner looking color. Yeah, scheme. you know, that that's the way it turns out. We, we still want to own color. We feel like we're on the fore end, uh, forefront of color and fashion. I just came back from the LA car show and last year when we went, one of the colors we saw that was super on trend was this really cool gray. We're calling it Nardo. And yes, you're right, we still offer a very dark, moody black that has the carbon fiber, that's the one you're holding. And for somebody who wants a little bit more muted, mean looking, murdered out if you will, <laughs> that's the one you want to go with. But if you want this new hot color of the year for us, it may not be orange, it may not be blue, but it is a different color and it's Nardo Gray. Jose, great stuff, we appreciate it. The F8 looks like it's going to be exciting for you guys and for Second Swing customers, of course the beauty of what we do with Second Swing is your F7, your F6, your LTD, you can trade those in and get a new F8 and have it in play in a couple of days.